Hi, I'm Henning from Flipmoments.com and in today's tutorial you are going to learn how to install the Brushes of the Damned ZBrush and Blender Flipbox. First, I'll show you how to install brushes for ZBrush. The very first thing you need to do is to extract the zip file. Right click, extract all, and let this extract the file. Once we're done, you're going to have a folder and in this folder you're going to have one or multiple brushes. You can now select the path by clicking on here or using Alt and D and then Control and C. Then in ZBrush you simply select the brush and then load brush on the bottom, or you go to brush in the very top left and load brush, control V, and now you can select the brush right here. If this is a large brush like this current brush is, this is gonna take a little bit of time to load. And now you'll see the brush at the very top here. This is the case for VDM brushes. And now you can start to use the VDM brushes like this. Nice and easy. If you want these brushes to auto load whenever you are starting ZBrush, you need to put them under the brush presets folder. And this is the path. C, Program Files, Maxon, ZBrush 2025 in this case, this depends on your version number, C Data, and then Brush Presets. If you're on Mac, this is gonna be under Applications, ZBrush and then Version, C Data, and then Brush Presets. So simply copy paste this in here, restart ZBrush, and now you can find this brush auto-loaded whenever you open ZBrush. Hit the B key, and in this case, this brush starts with the letter N. There we go, N as scales, and there we go. We can now start to use this brush. Be aware that if you have a lot of brushes set to auto load, this is going to increase the startup time for ZBrush quite significantly. Next up, let's talk about how we can load alphas into ZBrush. Start by extracting the alphas like we did with the brushes. Right click, extract all, and let these files extract. Then we go to the folder, and here you can find the various brushes. So in this case, we are looking at the leather scales and here we have them as PSD files. In nearly all cases, you want to use PSDs, but if you want to bring them into, for instance, something like Substance Painter or another texturing software, you might want to use PNGs instead. Copy the path, then under the standard brush, just make sure that is selected. We can very easily load the alphas. Go to Alpha, Import, or you can go to Alpha, Import here as well. Then we can simply select the alpha we want, and now this is going to be loaded right here. As you can see though, this doesn't really work correctly because we have to also change the stroke type to drag rect. And in nearly all cases, this is going to work fine. Some alphas are gonna have a different mid value. So you might wanna to go to alpha, modify, and then change the mid value right here. But often this is gonna be zero. If you do have issues, you can also set the surface to be enabled, which is going to approximate the mid value for you. And that's how you load an alpha into ZBrush. Next step, we'll talk about how you can auto load alphas into ZBrush. The method is very similar to how we auto load brushes into ZBrush. We go to the same brush preset folder we had before, then we simply click on Maxon, ZBrush, and then the version. Then we go to C alphas, that is right here. Then we simply copy paste our alpha in here, and now this is gonna auto load with ZBrush. Now this is a live directory, which means that this does not require a restart. So you go to Lightbox, then you go to alpha, and now you're gonna see the alpha right here. And this was the alpha we just loaded in. Double tap it. And now this is gonna show up right here. So now we can start to use this directly. Also, you can use the U key to increase the intensity as well. This is simply the intensity up here. And if you're a Mac, this is gonna be on applications, the ZBrush version, and then simply C alphas. Next up, you learn how to install brushes for Blender. The very first thing we have to do is to extract them. I've already done that. This is the same method we've done before. Simply right click and extract all. And here we have them for Blender right here. Then what we have to do is copy the path like this, Alt and D and then Control C. Then in Blender, we go to File, Append, go to the path, and then we have to select the Blender file. In the Blender file, you have to go to Brush, and we have to select the brushes we want. In this case here, we're just gonna get some of these scale brushes in, like so. Hit Append, make sure Fake User is enabled, and hit Append, and nothing will have happened. What we have to do first is go up here to the Display Mode, and change this to Blender file, and here you can see the brushes. Select all of these ones here, and then mark as asset. And now you're gonna see that these guys pop up right down here. And in this case, I simply have the monkey with the multi-res modifier, and then we can just start to use these scales. And there we go. This is how you import a brush into Blender. If you want these brushes to appear at startup, you simply go to File, Defaults, and Save Startup File. This is going to make sure that this is saved at startup. Before that, I recommend that you delete the monkey and that you don't have anything else in the scene just so that you don't complicate the startup file. So installing brushes for Blender is pretty nice and easy once you know how to do that. Next up, you learn how to import alphas into Blender. Like we did previously, this also starts by extracting the zip file. In this case, we already have done this because this is going to be the exact same alphas as we have been importing into 
ZBrush. We are going to be copying the path here like this. Then we're going to go to the Sculpting tab. If you are in a Sculpting tab and can't see anything, you need to hit Control and Tab, Sculpt Mode. And now you can see the brushes we previously imported as well. We are going to enable the Draw Brush, which you can easily get from up here and draw. Honestly, I find the icons here to be a bit confusing. I prefer text instead of just pure icons, but that might just be me. Select the Draw Brush, go to Texture Properties right here, hit New, Open, go to the Path, select the brush you want, hit Open. And now you can see the alpha right here. So you don't have to do any changes to this, but you can see the resolution and the metadata of for the image, like if this is half float or 8-bit or anything like that. Then we go up to the stroke type. We change this to be anchored. And now you can simply drag this out like so. In this case, you can see we need a bit more resolution. So simply go to the multi-res modifier and subdivide this once more. Then we can simply just drag out the alphas like that. If you want to load a new alpha, you can also go under Texture Properties and simply replace this image with something else. Very nice and easy. And that's how we use alphas in Blender.